You must be very pleased at the moment that you don't work for McLaren <laughs> because you'd be having plenty of meetings about the FIA anyway. Now, we shouldn't really uh, let a man as expert as Sam leave without telling us what you think is going to happen on Thursday in the World Motorsport Council meeting. So come on, Sam. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I've got this text message here from Nigel Stepney. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think uh, the, I mean, the first thing to say is that if you, uh, within society, Formula One has used to be a very small business and it's become very big business, uh, even since I was in it. When I first started in Formula One, a typical F1 team was 50 or 60 people. Uh, as I said, we're now, they're now sort of 500 to, to 900 people. That doesn't include the engine, that's just making chassis and gearboxes and the rest of the car. Um, because of that, we have a lot of big corporate sponsors and, and it's shifted from what it used to be. It used to be that everyone knew each other in the teams. Uh, you'd chat to people in the pit lane or maybe in the hotel at the, you know, having a beer at night time. Uh, and a lot, a lot more stuff was discussed. Big, not discussed, it was just chatted about in general, general chatter. That's all finished now. But I think, I think what's happened here, where you've actually physically got the exchange of uh, documents or documents that left Ferrari is far more serious. Um, now, that sort of thing has happened before in Formula One. Um, but on a much smaller scale, and it's been stopped immediately. Um, I, know, I know, for example, at Williams, pro I would say probably in, probably on average once every three years, you might get a, a, someone turn up, an engineer turn up for a job interview, and, it, and he might pull out a drawing in front of you. And at Williams, if that happens, the job interview is terminated immediately. Um, because when you go to employ someone, you don't employ them for a pile of drawings or a load of data. You employ them for what's inside their head and their ability to design. Because in Formula One is so fast moving um, that really what Ferrari have done three months ago is irrelevant now. Because if, and if you always try and copy that, you'll always be behind. So you've got to have people who can think out of the box. Regulations change, tires change, they get developed, aero maps, different drivers, you know, all these electronics changes next year. You've got to have people who are smart enough to see around regulations. And someone who just turns up with a book is, it's almost the opposite. You know, if someone does turn up with a book, it means they don't know because they need this book to come with them. So. So uh, the exact details of the McLaren versus Ferrari case, they know a lot more than me, obviously. I'm not, I'm not um, akin to most of that information. Um, I would say that the only thing I'd say politically, so that, that's my sort of engineering view on it. The only thing I'd say politically is for the FYA to reconvene the World Motorsport Council, uh, having had one uh, f four or five weeks ago, whenever it was. Um, you know, just the World Motorsport Council is 26 people, and most of these people live all over the world. You know, they're and they're, they're very powerful people um, in, in high positions, not just in motor racing. Um, and Excuse so, me, this may be our next guest, so you carry on, I'm just gonna take this call. Um, so they might be, um, uh, you know, probably cost them 150 to 200 grand to put a World Council meeting together. So they're not gonna take it lightly. The, what, what I can't see happening, I can't see them reconvening another World Motorsport Council meeting and saying the same thing as last time. We've looked at the data and actually we're not gonna do anything. Uh, what they do do is, is anyone's guess, but, and it'll depend on what evidence is available, but they've reconvened it because they said they found more evidence, so I can only assume the worst, unfortunately.